Welcome to the Ballarat Gold Mine here in Western Victoria. For over 100 years, miners have dug up this earth to strike it rich. The foundations set by miners over the last century have led us to where we are today. Now it's time to get ready to enter the complex system of tunnels that operate deep beneath the city's buildings, streets and homes. Firstly, we need to get approval before we can commence our descent. As you can see here in the mines offices, geologists study maps, examine core samples and use computer modelling to predict the most likely location of the goal. Great, looks like we have got the all clear to progress. Now it's time to get ready to make our way into the mine. Safety is paramount in all workplaces and this is no exception within mining. We need to get you wearing the correct personal protective equipment, or PPE for short. So we are going to place on some gloves, overalls, boots, cap lamps, our helmets, and also our self-rescuers. Take a look around at all the different types of equipment we use to keep us safe. Now it's time to hop into the light vehicle, or LV, to make our way to the entrance of the mine. Remember, safety first, so make sure you have your seatbelt attached. We have one more stop on our way before we make our descent into the mine. This is the tag board. Don't forget to place your ID tag on here. This will let everyone know that you have entered the mine so that in case of emergency, you can be accounted for. Don't worry, we will do this a few times throughout our journey. Here we go. Have a look around. Can you see the walls? The walls of the mine are reinforced by spraying shotcrete on them. Shotcrete is a concrete embedded with fibres. Large split pins are installed to further stabilise the mine's wall. Service crews come into the mine to install ventilation fans, pumps and hang the electrical cables that will power the mining equipment. Whilst we are down here in the mine, our geology and engineering friends are in the office busy planning where next to mine. The workshop are ordering parts and servicing the equipment, while the warehouse, accounts payable, payroll and other typical business support activities are getting done. This is a real sense of teamwork within this operation. We are going to get our very first glimpse into the everyday going-ons down here in the mine. Here is our mine surveyor installing monitoring pins to measure if there is any ground movement in the area. In other areas, we use more sophisticated tools that use lasers to measure the mine and keep us heading towards our targets. Survey is just one of the initial stages of the process before we progress into more complex machinery and explosions. Whoa, wait there. See that machine? That's an integrated tool carrier, or an IT. It's a versatile bit of kit, and it's always in demand. It has a man basket on it at the moment, which lets us work safely at heights installing the services, forks for carrying pallets or consumables, or another type of basket when we blast the face. We've approached the next tag board. Make sure you put your ID on there to be accounted for before the blast. We currently have the shot fire setting up to fire one of the headings some 700 metres down the mine. These explosions are set off one to two times a day. Firstly, the shot fire checks all the tag boards are closed to make sure there is nobody in that section of the mine before firing the heading. Ready to fire. Hold on to your hats. Yep. Wow, did you feel that? We will start to make our way back up to the processing plant now, but first, we are going to stop at a diamond drill. This machine uses a diamond encrusted drill bit to drill through the rock which produces a core. This core is taken back to the geologist and reviewed to see what is hiding in the rock before any more drilling can occur. Ah, light! Better shield your eyes as we come up. Your eyes would have already started to adjust to the low light in the mine, so this can be a bit of a shock. Our bucket loaders are called boggers. They scoop up the broken rock after an explosion, which it deposits into the back of haulage trucks. These 40-ton trucks travel up and down all day and all night. It's a 45-minute round trip to carry loads up into the mine's processing plant. We are now going to head to the plant. Here you can see the loader scooping up all the rocks from our earlier explosion, and it will place these into the jaw crusher.
Here are the rocks in the jaw crusher. This starts the process of breaking up large rocks into smaller rocks, which will continue on their journey through the plant. Let's take a closer look at some of these systems as we walk through one of the various plant systems here at the Ballarat Gold Mine. Have a moment to look around. Try and guess what each of these large machines do with the rocks we have just seen. How did you go? Were you able to identify the cone crusher, which reduces the size of the rocks? The vertical shaft impact crusher, which pummels the material into a sandy grind? The vibrating screens that shakes the ore and using gravity encourages the heavier gold element to fall away from the other parts of the crushed rock. And finally, the conveyor transfer, which transfers the rocks throughout the plant. Look closely, can you see the specks of gold? Trust us, if you look close enough, you'll see them. Make sure you stay this side of the handrail, we don't want you getting too close to the gold. <laughs> We get most of the gold using gravity separation, just like the old timers in the gold rush did. A small amount of gold that is still contained within the rock is sent for treatment using a chemical process. After the gold has been collected, there is still a great deal to be done. The mine has to manage all of its byproducts. The rock without the gold, which we call tailings, from the process plant is pumped into a compacted clay lined tailings dam. The water in the tailings dam is reused and reused again in the processing plant. The water in the underground mine is processed through a series of filtration ponds and is recycled back into the mine for drilling or dust suppression. There is a job in the mining industry for everyone. The mining industry employs people from all backgrounds and specialty areas, from plumbers to cleaners to earth scientists and engineers. Thanks for visiting. You have been a great help to us today here at the Ballarat Gold Mine. You are welcome back anytime. Now, Make sure you collect your ID from the tag board before you leave.